Also, because you know today we'll be watching this movie, X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, because of the title, you know, Days of Future Past, you know, I feel like there's going to be more like time, time traveling and expectations, they are wait why I'm expecting a, a lot in this movie. So yeah, anyway, let's watch the movie. And the nails, okay. Yeah, they look cool, they really do look cool. Oh, come on, you, you do the middle of steel, we should be able to. Nice. I really do hope they actually know win. Yeah, it's not going to be easy to defeat this end now. I mean, you know, the majority of the characters that I'm seeing here just remind me of other DC characters. Oh no, they can copy power. Oh, that's no, that's no good. Uh. Oh no, these things are way too strong. What is she doing? What are they doing? Oh, oh the one who was being useful in helping out very much and now that she's dead, yeah, I don't see them surviving this. No offense, but he looks like the villain. I don't know why, but he looks like the villain. And right now, it seems like he's working with the heroes, but he's going to betray them somehow. He's the villain. I'm calling it right now, he's the villain. I don't know his name yet, but definitely villain vibes. Bobby, this guy survived. What, what really happened? Hey, kid. Professor. Bolivar Trask. In the early 70s, he was one of the world's leading weapons designers, but covertly, he had begun experimenting on mutants, using their gifts to fuel his own research. There was one mutant who had discovered what he was doing. A mutant with the ability to transform herself into anyone. Oh, yeah, so... The last movie they are referencing the exactly to create weapons that could adapt to any mutant power and in less than 50 years the machines that have destroyed so many of our kind were created but it all started that day in 1973 the day she first killed the day she truly became mystique but the only way is to travel back and stop here from doing that. You can keep sending Bishop back in time over and over again to warn you. Until one day he doesn't make it. And you all die. Or you can give up this life so that they and everyone else who died in this war can actually have a future. You're asking us to sacrifice our lives for a future we might not even be a part of. Yes. 
Yeah, he's gonna like, yeah, obviously, die. For everyone. Not for you, just, not you, just for you guys. What I once did for you, lead me, guide me. I was a very different man then. You'll have to be patient with me. Patience is my strongest suit. You'll need me as well. What? After Mystique left Charles, she came with me, and I set her on a dangerous path. Darker path. It's going to take the two of us. Side by side at a time, and we couldn't be... Wait, wait, wait. Is he Magneto? Is Magneto because, you know, that's the time Mystique left. He left with Magneto. He doesn't look like the Magneto, I know, but... Lucky, it'll be harder for me to hold you. You could start to slip between past and future. What if I need to get a little rocky? Think peaceful thoughts? Peaceful thoughts. I don't have peaceful thoughts. Yeah. Come on, are you fast? Serious? Like I said, your keys. Okay, so the whole thing about peaceful thoughts is that he needs to be, you know, thinking about peaceful, peaceful thoughts the whole entire time he's in the past, you know. Okay, so that's gonna be a little bit difficult because sometimes he needs to get rocky. The war will be for our streets, our cities, our homes. And by the time you see the need for my program, it'll be too late. And you will have lost two wars in one lifetime. We're sorry, Dr. Trask, but your Sentinel program, it ain't gonna fly. So the government did not like it. They were not uh, really thinking, uh, you know, his program and all that, because they didn't see it right in the, uh, you know, obviously mutants. But uh, then Mystique killed, you know, the dogs and they're like, oh yeah, the, you know, the mutants are dangerous, so yeah, we're gonna create this pro uh, project, even though it's dead, and we're gonna create the sentinels, sentinel, right? Yeah. That's it! Hi! At ease. Don't want that kind of power. I'd rather be human than you know, have that kind of tank power. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. What happened to the school? Uh, the school's been shut for years. Are you a parent? <sighs> sure, so hope not. Who are you? I'm hey. The way you say that, I'm sure. Hope so. Not like he knows that he's been doing some stuff, you know. But there's a chance that he might actually be a father. But you know, he doesn't really. He doesn't know. He truly doesn't know either. Nice. Thank you. It is always behind the big poster, you know, the big picture. There's, there's always something behind it. If I'm a billionaire, I've been really into a lot from these movies. I will not put, you know, uh, anything behind the big picture because people already know about that in our days. Anybody would believe if you told them. 
So who are you? What do you want? We need your help, Peter. What? To break into a highly secured facility and to get someone out. Prison break? That's illegal, you know. Uh... <laughs> Look at all this stuff you saw in this thing. Illegal. So what's in it for me? You, you kleptomaniac, get to break into the Pentagon. How do I know I can trust you? Because we're just like you. Sharon. Painful. And you know the whole thing about you know dying, you know, you cannot you cannot just kill for and he's yeah, kind of <laughs> this guy's actually enjoying it. Come on. You can vomit if you want to. You can vomit. Hey. You know, my mom once knew a guy who could do that. I was a new guy who could. It's probably you. Charles. I was wanted to do that. <laughs> to spend them with you. But... Well, I'll give them the post. This was amazing, you know, the effects, everything. Just look at how realistic it is. It just it looks cool. It looks cool that this drug is it. Oh, a wedgie. Oh, not. The treasure and then again, I would spend them with you. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Looked around, no to know you're the one I want to go through time with. Yeah, welcome. No, I, I, you know, speed star. You no, know, I know, but in movies, you know that they are always underestimated. In they just they usually just downplay them and make them well. Like we can see when Avengers uh, died. Eric, where were you, Charles? We were supposed to protect them. Ah. Where were you when your own people needed you? Hiding. You and Hank. Pretending to be something you're not! Eric! You abandoned us all! I don't know why I'm over in my skate. You wouldn't see if I was over in I'll, I'll be cool with it. I'll be like, I'm not gonna die. We can squash us or whatever you do. I'll be dead, but obviously, you could try this try to. Uh, you know, you of course change the future and all that. What are you doing? Securing our future. Forgive me, Mystique. As long as you're out there, we'll never be safe. Eric. Use your power, Charles. Stop him. He can't. Is using his, you know, magnetic skills. Uh, I don't think this is gonna end well. Killing here, I don't think it's gonna end well. Oh, the arm, um, the leg, I mean, the leg. Finish what we started, Wolverine! One day! Uh, 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 
restrain them. <laughs> Imagine watching this. Imagine seeing it just in the front row. I get you. What? You came to us. Who are you? Charles. Well, Charles Xavier! I don't know you. Huh? What the hell is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I can deal with this. Just go. Stop, Eric. <laughs> Uh, you know the fun thing is that you, you want to run away at the same time you're like this is very new i want to stay in watch at the same time Uh, uh. Professor, what happened to you? I just saw someone who's going to bring me a lot of pain someday. Where's Raven? Gone. What? We have to get out of here. We're watching now. Well, this obviously did not turn out very well. The plan did not. Like though they did manage to stop it, but is that going to change the future or what is going to happen? Unidentified assailants, the likes of which the world has never seen. Mass hysteria has gripped the So still they stopped it, but at the same time the Pentagon is gonna do like they're gonna create the sentinel. I have eight prototypes ready to go. They're built out of a space age polymer, not an ounce of metal on them. I want to make a demonstration. I want the world to know that we can protect them. What do you need to get these things operational? I already gave that number to Congress. Unfortunately, they elected to shut me down. It's going to cost a bit more to turn them on. Whatever you need. Oh, and one more thing. If we do manage to capture them, I would like her for research purposes, of course. I don't care who you screw, as long as it's not me. Okay, come on, you sometimes you have to think about these things like the person you're working with, of course. Right now, it seems like the best thing interest, but at the same time, yeah. So, they didn't really, you know, change the future because it's still, it's still the same thing. You know, they're still against the ultimate enemy extinction. I believe our new friends are going to help us usher in a new era, Bill. A new era of genuine and long lasting peace. What is he going to do? Those men are like, what are you going to try to do? What? Because right now, you know, they have their blood. Of course, you don't know that, you know, the blood is not enough right now, but I'm wondering what is it, is it really, you know, this plan right now. So like it's in the present and seeing everything that is actually happening from the person who came into the you know factory. Oh, he's putting metal in this so that you can be able to control them. Right? At least I'm guessing so. Full of compassion. I have compassion. Just not for Trask. He's murdered too many of us. Shut her down, Charles. Get in her head. She's not letting me in. I'm barely holding on. I'm not strong enough yet.
I know what Trask has done. But killing him will not bring them back. It will set you on a path from which there is no return. An endless cycle. So he's sort of like projecting himself. Like, he's in his mind sort of like projecting himself. Like, is, that's my understanding. Someone needs to explain, like, how does he power, his powers work in the comments. No, I know it's complicated and there's probably all kinds of rules and reasons for what you can and can't say, but I, I was wondering if you could tell me in the future, do I make it? No. <laughs> Come on. A straightforward, like, no, you're gonna die. No, you don't make it. You didn't even want to try to hide it or anything. It's just like. It's just the world I came from. Like what? This. No, not all the time. You know, I take a shot in the morning and I need another if I get worked up. Worked up? Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm emotional or excited. Like right now he's getting excited, dude. No, 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 don't get close. No. Well, maybe we shouldn't have to fight off the things that come naturally to us. Imagine Charles seeing this. This is not good. This is not good. Charles doesn't need to see this. Especially from his. Uh -huh. But I would never be deemed beautiful looking like this. Do you still think that? I mean, you saw what happened in Paris. You know what they think of us. What do you think? Look at me, look at me, and look at yourself. I'm even worse than you. No, remember, he's saying, uh, make sure that you come back home. Oh, come on, Mystique. What are you doing? I think this Mystique is not, you know, Charles. She's going to destroy the omit. I think that's what she's going to do. I'm sorry, Charles. I know it, I know it, I called it. I knew she was going to do that. That's the reason me. She came to do this house, you know. I don't know. She kind of changed her uh, mind and all that, but you know, it was to make sure just as not locating. Can I help you? No, you can't. What is he planning though? What, what is he doing? He, he always likes to go solo, you know, everything. I'm seeing a giant stadium moving on top of that. 
don't know why I said it's Giant Stadium. I stayed there. Uh, now Eric is puppet. Well, they're all going to die. Yeah, no, they're all going to die. Now everything is set, you know. Over any other that safe to change or they ever happened in the past in order for this to stop up too late. The only way to keep him done is to you not know, just tear him up, or otherwise. <laughs> Nothing in the past is working out. Nothing in the present is working out. So they were hiding in the safe house or in a safe, you know, this safe. Yeah, it's kind of a safe house. The future of our species begins now. She opens the day. Why you protect the president? Why do that? Trust me, I still am. What about Logan? Really? 
we're just gonna stay in the water there or we... oh now is a new timeline where the future is kind of bright i would assume that you know so he still remembers everything that happened you know. buckminster fuller is a great example of an architect who's Ideas were very similar to those of a utopian future. Build structures that would work for the future. First and second. Good morning, Logan. See you later, Jean. Okay. Professor. Logan, is everything all right? Yeah, well, he has been in a timeline where everything. I think Professor Blackie. He, 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 instead to read his mind, then he'll be like, oh, now I get it why he's acting like this, you know. You did it. Did what? Logan, don't you have a class to teach? A class to teach? Ah, history. History. It makes sense, you know, consider that he's way older, you know. It's good to see you, Charles. It's good to see everyone. Well, I had a promise to keep. <laughs> yeah, you he and did. I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. What's the last thing you remember? Uh, yeah, I was about. I was in the water. That's that's the last thing I remember. I was in the water, drowning, but not dying. So. So that's how the pyramids were made. You know, this makes more sense. This actually makes more sense. Also, who is doing this? Do I know? Not really, no. This was actually a good movie. Actually, an amazing movie, to be honest. Now, with, I went in watching, uh, watching this movie with some kind of uh, expectations those expectations were not met because obviously they were unreal and they were made by somebody who have no idea what he's about to watch you know uh, but one of the things that i was expecting was expecting for logan uh, to be more you know uh, more fight involved you know that the best way to say fight involved because i even like when it comes to wolverine or logan i haven't like seen his movies yet because in office i'm trying to watch them in orders uh but so from what i've seen online i know that majority people love this guy and i understand why you know obviously from what i'm seeing is amazing and everything it's just it's amazing but the thing is that when it comes to power like his powers people make him seem like he's invincible you know so when i went watching this i was like oh like the last movie you know over was in, in there but this came you like five seconds in on screen in this one he was like one of the main characters if not the main character but the thing is that he was not like the fourth like he is not he is not as powerful as people make him uh, out to be he's like dead poor you know they all cannot die that's their po most powerful thing is that you cannot kill them we cannot drown them because if you drown them they're just gonna stay there but they're not going to die you know? they'll stay they'll, they'll stay there but that's the only way to kill sort of win and fight against them uh push them into water like how, how magneto did it uh throw them into space i don't know if you know as uh, in space you die or not I, I don't know about that one but it does seem like he needs a to survive i don't i don't think so i don't think you survive you to throw him in the sun so when it comes to that it's just like people you know with all that they make him seem like he he can just you know survive anything like he can i mean he can but he cannot i mean he, they make him seem like that so uh, when watching this movie, I was like, okay, you know, even though with all this, he, there's still more powerful people, but these more powerful people, they can be easily killed, but they're still more powerful than him, you know? It, for example, Magneto, you can shoot him, then he's dead. Shoot him in the, in the head, straight there, he'll be dead, just like that. 
So this will be really will see when this movie gets shot multiple times, then whatever, nothing. Like nothing. It's, it's just like you know, it's getting flickered Oh, that's all, you know. Obviously, uh you just feel the pain, but it's like when you feel the pain, but you instead you heal at the same time, you know, so don't get to feel as much as you at the normal you mean would. So yeah, because of that, um I'm not saying I was disappointed, but at the same time I get to understand Wolverine's powers a little bit much more. Obviously, they're going to be like a uh, syndrome, like you no know, spin off movies, or spin off like you no know, syndrome movies, like the Logan movie. Obviously, there's a Logan movie, then there's also a Wolverine movie, I believe, where they will be centering around him. This one was more of like a, a, a team up movie, like you know, obviously, X Men, all the X Men, right? It was more of like a team up movie. But I would like to see those movies too, so that you can get the even more sense of his powers of how everything about his powers, you know, kind of work. Ah, uh, yeah. Then this movie, the villain uh, is that short guy who created the Sentinel. They are the Sentinel, right? That's the name, right? Uh, he's, he's not really the bad guy of like his physicality. Like the last movie, like the last movie I watched, First Class, where the bad guy was off the edge, some amazing powers was way too strong, you know, that. This one, however, just his powers, knowledge of being able to create uh, dangerous uh, weapons, you know, and that's his power because every this power will also led to the future that is way, way dark and just you know the future. It's not the bright future that everyone wants. So yeah, uh, the president had to shut down him and everything like that. Uh, people can, the, you know, mutants can now live together. Uh, yeah, so that that's also you know amazing to see every everything kind of plays out at the end but just feel like you know majority of things that were happening in the past and future they made a good decision where you kind of like oh are they going to win this or oh, are they going to win this even though in my back of my mind like obviously they have to win this like seriously they have to win this there's no way they will lose it because of the you know where future movies and things so yeah guys anyway if you like my reaction make sure that you do leave a like subscribe comment down below what you think about this movie that being said i will see you in the next video goodbye